When looking to get a telescope for a digiscoping system, there are three main things that you should consider. The first is the quality of the optic system, the second the diameter of the objective lens, and the third what type of ocular lens you want. The quality of your telescope's optical system will make a huge difference to the images you're able to produce. A high quality system will be able to not only produce a good image in the center of the picture, but also have a nice, sharp, clear photo or image that's brought through the telescope and onto the center of your camera, which is most important. And something like a high definition fluoride lens, that'll help to cut down on chromatic aberration. That's that annoying purple fringe that you get around brightly lit objects. Choosing a telescope diameter is not always that easy. A smaller 65mm diameter objective lens of the telescope is nice and light and it's easy to take traveling. So if you are looking to take a few digiscoping snaps while you're out in your journeys, out in your travels, then maybe a 65 would work. But essentially, the bigger the diameter of that, of that objective in the front, the more light you're able to capture, and the more light you can get onto your camera, the faster your shutter speed, and the faster your shutter speed, the more chance you've got of getting a sharp, clear photo. So you really want to be going for a, a larger diameter objective lens. When choosing an eyepiece for digiscoping, some people like to use a fixed power. I personally used to only use, or almost only use, my 30 times fixed wide angle eyepiece. And I used this because it had long eye relief and nice wide angle. But recently, since these new zooms have come out, I tend to only use the zoom. Nice wide, wide, wide angle, but it does give me that option of a little bit more zoom if I, if I need it or if I'd like it. I tend to only use it at 25 power magnification because that gives me the most light through. And the more light I get, the faster my photos. If, however, I'm on the mud flat and I do have something a little bit further away and I've got bright light conditions, I can zoom it up a little bit more and still be able to take a good photo. The other thing to consider is what adapters there are for that eyepiece. So have a look at what adapters there are and then take your camera with and actually physically try your camera out with the various eyepieces and adapters and then decide which one you'd like. 